When we hear the phrase exotic pets, wild animals are usually what comes to mind. Animals not typically associated with your average house cat or dog. Over the years, many celebrities have placed a spotlight on exotic pets in popular culture. I know almost everyone remembers Michael Jackson and his monkey Bubbles, or Mike Tyson and his pet White Tiger. There's a certain appeal about taming a wild creature and bringing it into your home. Join us today as we count down the top 10 exotic animals legal to own as pets. Capybara. The largest rodent in the world, the capybara can weigh up to 140 pounds. These cute critters are semi-aquatic mammals, so if you want to bring one home, make sure you have access to a good-sized swimming pool. A social creature, capybaras do better in groups, which means if you adopt a capybara, make sure you bring home a friend. In the United States, capybaras are legal to own in only two states without a license, Texas and Pennsylvania. In other states, they are legal but require licenses. Before bringing one of these guys home, be sure to check with your local animal registration authority to determine eligibility for owning a capybara as a pet. Serval the serval is an odd-looking feline that many exotic cat lovers want to add to their cast of rarities. These wild cats do not grow much larger than a medium-sized house dog. Their sleek bodies and long legs make them excellent jumpers and athletes. Make no mistake, these cats are anything but domestic. Servals find living in contained spaces difficult, and even with training, they still maintain their wild nature. With their cunning mind, these escape artists can find themselves in dangerous predicaments. It's not uncommon to find escaped servals who have been hit by cars or die from starvation due to lacking proper hunting skills. Still, in much of the U.S., it is legal to own a serval with or without a license. It's legal to own servals in Nevada, Idaho, Wisconsin, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, and West Virginia without a license. You can obtain a license to own them in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Oklahoma, Texas, Arizona, Mississippi, Missouri, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and Maine. In all other states, ownership is prohibited. Fennec Fox the African fennec fox is the world's smallest fox species. A full-grown adult weighs only about 4 pounds. With their enormous ears and tiny faces, these foxes resemble a chihuahua and have the independence of a house cat. Fennec foxes will let you know when they are happy by purring. Their high energy levels and nocturnal nature make them difficult to care for since they will be active while you're trying to sleep. Their skittish and cautious nature makes them easy to frighten and reluctant to allow prolonged contact. There will be almost no snuggles with these guys. However, when they want your attention, they can be outright loud. Fennec foxes can be owned in all U.S. states except Missouri, Minnesota, Nevada, and Washington. Wallaby a kangaroo might be a bit too large to make a good house pet, but a close alternative is the wallaby. Wallabies range in temperament from docile to anxious. Bennett's wallabies tend to be mild-mannered and docile towards humans. In contrast, Dahmer and Tamar wallabies exhibit more anxiety when interacting with humans. When a wallaby is exposed to a human at a young age, these social creatures can grow strong bonds with their caregivers. Young wallabies can be bottle-fed much like a human infant. As they grow, they will remain cuddly and close with their caregiver families. Wallabies are an exotic pet that are comfortable in the presence of other domestic household animals. As wallabies require a lot of free space to roam, they cannot be owned inside city limits. Hyacinth Macaw Hyacinth macaws, or blue parrots, are known for their beautiful cobalt blue feathers. This species of macaw is the largest parrot species. They can grow to the size of a bald eagle and have 60-inch wingspans. These powerful birds can be dangerous if not trained from an early age. Hyacinth macaws are a threatened species, and this rarity doesn't make them a good pet for most people looking to own them. The classification as a threatened species means that 5,000 or less are left in the wild. They are listed in Appendix 1 of the Convention of International Trade of Endangered Species list, which prohibits parrot species international trade. Those who want to own this exotic bird will need to provide proper documentation and pay a hefty fee of up to $10,000.
Boy, that escalated quickly. Before we move on, do you think exotic animals are better left in the wild? Let us know what you think about having wild animals as household pets in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We work hard to upload new videos every week for our viewers, and we really appreciate your support. Okay, let's move on with our video. Anteater Artist Salvador Dali once famously owned the exotic animal at number 5 on our list. Anteaters are an attractive pet to potential owners with the money, patience, and temperament to provide for their needs. When kept as pets, it's necessary to give the anteater plenty of space to fulfill their desire to climb and explore. Anteaters have specialized diets that require them to ingest large volumes of insects that may be difficult for most owners to provide. Be prepared to pay a lot for this pet. Anteaters typically cost between $3,500 and $8,000 per year. And that's not even including all the tasty insect treats you'll be buying. Kawadi Mundi Kawadi Mundi, or Kawadi, are tree dwellers closely related to kinkajous and North American raccoons. White-nosed and South American Kawadis are two breeds of this type of raccoon often kept as household pets. Kawadis are diurnal, which means they are active during the daytime. Beware if you have kids, these raccoons have sharp teeth and will bite, so keep small children away from them. Their playful nature and temperament have led the Kawadi to be described as toddlers with sharp claws and teeth. Much like a toddler, the Kawadi is prone to mischief and loves to climb and get into things. Socialization training is necessary from a young age to lessen aggression, since this species has often exhibited aggression towards humans and has been known to carry disease, they are outlawed in many locations. When deciding to purchase a Kawadi, make sure you are buying from a reputable seller that can provide the proper documentation. Ball Python Ball pythons are a popular species of constricting snake. They don't grow quite as large as their boa cousins, typically reaching lengths of 3 to 4 feet. They are considered good pets for beginner snake owners. A docile nature makes them easy to care for. When deciding to purchase a ball python, you must make sure that you have enough space and proper enclosure for them to move around and hunt. Owning this breed of python is legal in most states without a license. In states with issues regarding illegal dumping of snakes and in invasive species, ownership is usually restricted, unless you have a permit dated before 2010. Ball pythons are illegal to own in Florida, New York, Hawaii, and some California cities. Chimpanzee Chimps, although adorable, can make for challenging and potentially dangerous pets. Having a chimp in your life is more like having a partner than a pet. They have a lifespan that can reach up to and beyond 50 years. Owners should be prepared for many years of specialized care with a chimpanzee. Adult chimps can weigh up to 150 pounds, which is the size of many adult humans. Chimpanzees of this size possess twice as much strength as their human cousins. Caring for an animal this size means you should have appropriate training and be in a location with plenty of security and space. Many states have made it illegal to own chimpanzees. You can hold them with specialized licenses in Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, or North Dakota. Tiger since 2020's Tiger King, tigers in captivity have become a hot topic. Make no mistake, tigers are not appropriate pets. They are wild predators that can be extremely dangerous if removed from their proper natural environment. Despite this, only 35 U.S. states have specific regulations and laws against owning big cats. Tigers are large predatory mammals that need lots of space to roam, hunt, and breed. These animals are not only extremely strong and powerful, but intelligent. So any enclosure must be reinforced to keep them and the humans around them safe from harm. The restrictions surrounding tigers specify that they cannot be kept captive in heavily populated areas. <laughs> The definition of what makes a pet exotic is expansive. Each state in America has its own classifications defining exotic pets. So if you have any doubt, check with your proper local authorities. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you like watching this type of content, be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.